I think that if a person is really operating with integrity, you know, um, being ethical uh, and, under, and really out of care and concern for the client, I think the person with the trained eye, with the right education and training, they will they will know when to respectfully bow out of something and say, you know, you really need additional support. And that is something that I always um, caution my the prospects that have, haven't decided to work with me yet. I always tell them, this is what I do. This is the process. At any time that I look at something and my eyebrow is raised and I feel you need additional support, we will connect with the correct medical professional or specialist, and I will educate you on the questions that you should be asking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're making me think. It's like I had a, a lady that came in wanting, you know, hair retouch, hair color retouch, and you know, when I opened up her scalp, it's like there's all kinds of, you know, kind of open, semi-open type of, nice. you know, things going on there. And she was just very insistent. It's like, no, if you just use this kind of such and such, you'll be able to do fine and such and such and such. And I could see someone, you know, who wasn't, you know, as experienced or I guess you could say unintimidatable. Yeah. <laughs> I was, it's like, there's no way I can do your hair until you go to see a doctor. And mm -hmm. she's like, oh, well, I'll just go, you know, somewhere else. And it's like, and maybe she could get in, but it's like, it's gonna be detrimental. There's no way her scalp would actually take that service well and there's obviously something going on and so i think sometimes it's um not only knowing when to bow out but holding your ground to bow out you know <laughs> because the clients may be demanding you know it's like oh but no i have to go so and so and i have to get my color today it's like 